Hi, the topic is minimum spanning tree. In this uh, lecture, we discuss what is the spanning tree, what are the properties of the spanning tree and what is the minimum spanning tree and discuss the Krishkal and Primth's algorithm and at last we discussed the applications of a spanning tree. So first we discuss what is the spanning tree. A spanning tree is a subset of graph G. is a subset of graph G that means there is a graph G and graph G contains two tuple V and E. V is the set of vertices and E is the set of edges. So, spanning tree is the subgraph of G not both vertices and edges just subgraph of edges. Subgraph of G that include all the vertices with minimum number of edges and does not have any cycle and it cannot be disconnected. So, there are few properties of the spanning trees. It is connected, it is a tree that means there is no cycle in the graph and last is uh, it include all the vertices with minimum number of edges. So, a single graph can have more than one spanning tree like this. This is a connected undirected graph and it has a spanning tree uh, contain all the vertices 1, 2, 3, 4 and connect with minimum number of edges. So, 4 number of vertices hai, minimum number of edges it has a tree property. So, a tree has n minus 1 edges with n number of vertices. So, there are 3 edges like this, like this, like this and like this. So, a spanning tree have more than one spanning tree like. So, consider the complete graph on n vertices and there are 16 possible spanning trees of the given completed graph. So, in a spanning tree we cover all the vertices. So, there are four vertices in the graph. So, in there are four vertices in the spanning tree which is connected with the minimum number of edges. So, in a tree if n number of vertices, so there is only n minus 1 edges. So, 4 minus 1 equals to 3. So, there are 3 edges in the spanning tree. But age ki choice hamari khud ki hoti hum koi si bhi age ko usme se hata sakte hai. Toh first time hum nahi se age ko hataya, second time mein ye age hamare option mein nahi hai. Four time mein ye age option nahi hai. Toh there are n 16 possible spanning tree of the complete graph. So, if n number of vertices in the spanning tree, so there are n minus 1 edges in the spanning tree or if there is a complete graph of n vertices, it has maximum n ki power n minus 2 spanning tree. If n equals to 4, so 4 power 2 equals to 16. There are 16 possible spanning tree of the given graph. Now, what are the general properties that are associated with the spanning tree? First, a connected graph G can have more than one spanning tree. As we see in the previous example, a complete graph can have more than one spanning tree. So, first property is a connected graph can have more than one spanning tree. Second property all possible spanning tree have same number of edges and vertices. So, there are four number of vertices in the graph. So, all spanning tree has four number of vertices and three edges. Next property, the spanning tree does not have any cycle. Because it is a tree, it does not contain any cycle because it is minimally connected. Next. Removing one edge from the spanning tree will mark the graph disconnected because it is minimally connected. If we remove one cycle, suppose we remove this edge from the graph, so graph is partitioned into two subgraphs, this portion and this portion because it is minimally connected. Adding one edge to the spanning tree will create a circuit. 
will create a cycle or loop because the spanning tree is maximally a cycle. If we add one edge, suppose we add one edge in the graph, it create a cycle because it is maximally a cyclic. So, there are, are the few properties of the spanning tree. Next is what is the minimum spanning tree in a weighted graph? In applications weighted graph, the weight can be the distance of distance between two cities, the electrical load of the cable, it can be a traffic load, it can it can be a flight time, it can be a any arbitrary value. So, in a weighted graph, a minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree that has minimum weight than all other spanning tree. Consider this graph, there are more than one spanning tree of the given graph like it contains all the vertices, it is also a spanning tree of the given graph. like this it is also a spanning tree of the given graph it is also a spanning tree of the graph graph and it is also a spanning tree of the given graph now calculate the cost of the spanning tree. The cost of the spanning tree is the uh, addition of the edges. The cost of this spanning tree is 5 plus 3, 8 plus 9, 10, 11 for this graph. Cost is for this graph. And for this graph, the cost is 6. So, in these four spanning tree, the what is the minimum spanning tree which has the minimum cost? This graph has the minimum cost. This graph has cost 11, this graph has cost 9, this graph has cost 12, and this spanning tree has cost 6. So, it is the minimum spanning tree of the given graph. So, generally, we have spanning trees, minimum spanning tree, so we can create all the possible spanning tree of the given graph and pick that has the least value, but it is a very time consuming task. So, so there is any greedy method to calculate the minimum spanning tree? Yes, there is a greedy method to calculate the spanning tree. There are two methods to calculate the spanning tree. First is the Krushkal algorithm and second is the Prim's algorithm <coughs> and these both are the greedy algorithm. The greedy algorithm is an approach or a strategy to solve the problem. In greedy algorithm, we take a choice that is better at that moment. We take a choice that is better at that moment. So, first we discuss what is the Krushkal algorithm. In Krushkal algorithm, it is a minimum span, it calculates the minimum spanning tree and it treats the given graph is a forest and the nodes it has is a individual tree and it is connected to the another if it has, if and only if it has the minimum cost among all the available options and does not violate any spanning tree property. So, what are the steps of this uh, critical algorithm? First, we arrange the ages in, in increasing order of their weights. Subse pehle hum jitni ages hain, unke, unke weight ke according in, in uh, increasing order mein sort karenge. Next, pick the smallest age 
check if it form a cycle, discard that age. If it does not form a cycle, include this age into the tree. And step 3, repeat this step until we cover all the vertices of the graph because the spanning tree covers all the vertices of the graph. So, in Krushkal algorithm, we select the minimum age. Consider this example. There are many possible spanning tree of the given graph, but we want a minimum spanning tree of the given graph. So, first we arrange the weight in increasing order. This the weight 1 is associated with 4 ages for A D, weight 1 is from A D, C D, B E, D E, weight 2 is associated to A B, C F and A C, weight 3 is associated to E G, weight 5 is associated to D G and B D and weight 6 is associated to df and weight 11 is associated to fg and in Krushkal algorithm each node is a individual tree. So, we consider all the nodes e e D, C, F, G and pick the smallest weight age and then connect it. So, uh, smallest weight age is 1 that is associated with A D. So, A D select A D. It does not violate any spanning tree property. So, select it. Next weight is also a 1 that is associated with C D. So, C D is there selected because it does not violate any spanning tree property. Then H is B E. This weight 1 hai, this weight 1 hai, a 1. Selected because it does not violate any spanning tree property. Next is D E. Now, the second weight is 2 that is associated with A B. If we take the age A B, it form a cycle. So, discard the age A B because it form a cycle. Next age is C F. We can take it C F because it does not form a cycle. Next age is A C. We cannot the take age a C because it form a cycle, A C form a cycle. So, we discard the age A C. Now, try for the next smallest one. Next is 3 age is E G. We can take it E G because it does not form any cycle. Now, all the vertices cover in the spanning tree and with minimum number of ages. If there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 vertices, so there are 6 ages 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The cost of the spanning tree is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3, 7, 8, 9. So, this is the minimum spanning tree of the given graph. Let us see. This is the minimum spanning tree of the given graph. So, the, in, uh, the approach of Krushkal algorithm is that we always select the minimum weightage. Let us con see, uh, continue with the another example. Find out the minimum spanning tree of the given graph. So, so first arrange the ages in, in increasing order. So, there are 16 ages. Arrange the ages in 16. Oh, arrange the ages in increasing order and every node in a 
graph is a individual tree and pick the smallest one age that smallest age means that has the least cost so first age is one then select it ad ad is selected next age is cf next select acf add it next age is ce select it and add it next age is eg select it and add it because it does not violate any spanitary property next is hj select it and add it fg now c fg fgh form a cycle so does not include this age because it form a cycle so discard this age and try for the gi 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 does not violate any spanitary property so don't age this is an add gi next next is ij select it next is ab a B next is B D B D now consider B D form a cycle so discard this age because it form a cycle and try for the next B C try for the next B C B C does not form any cycle so select the age B C now all the vertices of the graph are covered with minimum number of ages so that is the minimum spanning tree of the given graph whose cost is 22 so the strategy of kushkal algorithm is always pick the smallest age and add it to the tree next the prims algorithm in prompts algorithm always select the connected age to the tree always select the connected age to the tree in prompts algorithm first we choose the starting vertex and look at all the connecting to the vertex and choose the one with the lowest weight jo us vertex se connected ages hain उसमें जिसका वेट सबसे कम है उसको हम पिक करेंगे और ऐड करेंगे लुक एट ऑल द एजेस कनेक्टेड टू द ट्री दैट डू नॉट हैव बोथ वर्टिस इन द ट्री चूज द वन विद द लोएस्ट वेट सपोज आपने एक एज सेलेक्ट कर ली नाउ सेलेक्ट द कनेक्टेड एज विद दिस एज एंड रिपीट दिस प्रोसेस अंटिल ऑल द वर्टिस आर इन द ट्री जस्ट take an example this is a graph and then uh, now find out the minimum spanning tree of the given graph using prims algorithm so we suppose start the vertex a we start with vertex a now there are three edges connected with vertex a a b a f and a e which one has the least cost the ab has least cost then select ab now try for the next age that is connected to ab vertex a and b so the age connected to vertex ab is this this and this and this in these four ages which has the minimum cost this age has the minimum cost then select the age ae now select the ages that are connected to vertex a b and e so there are 5 8 7 5 2 which has the minimum least cost weight so this is the least cost weight so select the age ed now select the age that is connected to vertex b a e and d the age connected to these are 5 8 
4 5 and 7 which has the least weight this is has the least weight weight is 4 so select the DC now choose the connected edge from vertex A B E D C which has the least cost the least cost is 5 for this and this but we cannot take the edge B C because if we take B C it form a cycle so select the edge E F now all the vertices of the graph are covered with minimum number of edges. So it is the minimum spanning tree of the given graph and the cost of the spanning tree is 18. Let us continue with another example. Find out the minimum spanning tree of the given graph using Prim's algorithm. So in Prim's algorithm we select we choose our starting vertex and select the connected edge which has the least weight so suppose we start from the vertex a and which has the least weight then ad has the least weight so connect select this edge now select the edge that are connected with the ad vertex a and d from vertex a is edge 4 from vertex D is 4, 6, 5. So, minimum cost is 4. So, I have two choice to take, uh, take AB or DB. So, let us take, suppose we take AB. Now, try to all the possible edges connected to from vertex A, D, B. From vertex B, 4 and 10 from vertex D 4 6 5 but we cannot take 4 because if we take 4 it form a cycle so try for the next smallest one that is 4 now select the edge BC now con consider all the possible edges connected to vertex A D B C the edge is 5 6 10 2 1 the core minimum cost is 1. Now select the edge CF. Now the minimum cost is 5, 6, 10, 2, 3, 5. The minimum cost is 2. So select is 2. Now select the all possible edge which has the least weight. The least weight is 2. So select the edge EG. Now the all the connected edge from vertex D, D from vertex D, there are two edges 5 and 6 from vertex B, 10 from vertex G, 3, 3, 4 and from vertex F is 5. But we could not take this 3 because it form a cycle. So select this edge. Now try all possible edges from the given vertices added vertices in the tree so they are 3 4 10 6 5 the minimum weight is 3 so select this one now select now select the age from vertex d a d b c e f g h i j so there are three ages 2, 5, 6 which has the least cost, 2 has the least cost, so select it. Now all the vertices of the graph is covered with minimum possible number of edges. So this is the minimum spanning tree of the given graph whose cost is 22. Kruskal algorithm and Prism's algorithm always give the same answer. So it is not necessary the MST is always unix is depends on the age weight if the age weight is identical so there are more than one spanning tree is possible if the age weight are different so there is only one unique minimum spanning tree now the applications of a spanning tree a spanning tree is basically used to find a minimum path to connect all the nodes in the 
graphs. The common application of a spanning tree are network designing. Like in computer network, computing devices exchange data with each other using connection between nodes. These data links are established over the cable media such as wire or optical cables. It is also used in telecommunication network like telephone network. Consider a city uh, network as a huge graph and how to now we plan to deploy a telephone lines in such a way that is minimum lines we can connect all the cities. So, this is where the spanning tree comes into the picture. It is also used in transportation network for constructing highway or railroads spanning several cities. It is also used in water supply network, a pipe network for distribution of water to the consumers and connection to the sewers. It is also used in electrical grids delivering the electricity from producer to the consumer. In traveling salesman problem, it is also used. Uh, required to visit all the places while coming back to the starting node with minimum total weight. So, there is a straightforward way to use the minimum spanning tree to get to approximation to the optimal solution to the cell traveling salesman problem. It is also used in computer network router protocol, in cluster analysis and in handwriting recognition of all mathematical expressions. So, this is the assignment for you, find out the minimum spanning tree of the given graph using Prims and Kruskal. So, always remember in Kruskal we always take the minimum cost age and in Prims we always take the connected minimum cost age. So, answer of this and try the next question for this undirected graph, weighted graph find out the minimum spanning tree using Prim's algorithm. So, these are the references. Now, thank you so much. For any query, you can contact at this email ID. Thank you.